What's up, everybody, and welcome back to A Beer A Day with TK. It's a warm one here in Philly, Ohio, and I'm hanging out in the shed, getting ready to check out a new beer. Now, if you watch your program regularly, you know that I'm a big fan of the Oktoberfest. I've been pretty excited. They've been on the shelf since about the second week of July, um, so I've had a few weeks to try them out. But while out looking for beers today, I stumbled across this one, Fest Beer from Saucy Brew Works, and they're out of Cleveland, Ohio. Now, I've done a couple of their beers already, um, but this is the first time I've had the Fest beer, so I was excited to give it a shot. Now, what also is kind of interesting, I went onto the website for Saucy, and at the top, you know, you see all the usual things like our beer, our story, all this kind of stuff. Um, one of the options was Invest, and when you click on it, it actually took you to some site where you could buy shares of the brewery, which was pretty interesting. Um, looked like you could buy shares. A share was $1, essentially. You had to have a, 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 a minimum of $100 investment. But for 100 bucks, you could be part owner of the Saucy Brew Works. I have to admit, it's kind of alluring. I'm thinking about throwing 100 bucks at it just so I can say I own part of a brewery, right? It would be pretty cool. Now, if they happen to take off and you make some money, bonus, right? Um, but, I, you know, I, I hadn't seen that one before. I've seen, like... The, the crowd uh, fundraising kind of things where you kind of donate money and then they make money basically based on your gift. But this looked like you actually owned a share and, you know, owned a part of the company, which was, I don't know, pretty unique and, and you know, somewhat enticing for somebody like me. Anyway, let's get back to the beer. This is 6% ABV, 22.5 IBUs. Um, Ratings-wise, does pretty good on untapped 3.6 with about 2,000 check-ins. Beer Advocate, a 3.9. Now, there's only about six there. Now, this is described as a German-style Oktoberfest. <clears throat> so I'm going with my Finley Oktoberfest glass. Now, I will say this. Based on the color, it does look a little more german I've kind of noticed with Oktoberfest, a lot of the American ones tend to be more of that caramel color, and a lot of the German ones tend to be lighter in color. Some of them are, are just kind of yellow. Um, this is more of a yellowish type color. If I go with my Brew HQ SRM chart, I don't know, I'd probably say this is maybe like a six deep gold or so. Um, there is about a finger's worth of, of white head there. It is a little, I don't know, maybe a little soapy looking, maybe not the, the best looking head but eh, this looks all right let's give it a sniff kind of grassy kind of a little, little bit of a crackery malty thing going on i know when i was on the website I was talking about the the yeast in it and you could pick up the yeast i i don't really pick up any kind of spicy yeast in the nose at least smells yeah bready grassy kind of what you'd expect yeah, let's give it a shot cheers should i say prost Yeah, it's not bad. Um, medium bodied, I would say um, it's kind of what you'd expect for an Oktoberfest. The one difference in this is I think this is slightly hoppier than most of the ones I've had so far. So I think up front you kind of get like a biscuity malt kind of thing. You get a little bit of sweetness, maybe a tiny bit of a, a citrus note there, like a lemony kind of um, citrus thing. Uh, and then at the end, it does have a, a little bit of a hoppy finish, probably a little hoppier than I'm used to with the Oktoberfest. It's not a bad thing. It just kind of separates this from some of the others. I was watching a video the other day, and I know Blue Ice was talking about um, Oktoberfest and the Marzins and saying that the one thing he liked about them is a lot of different breweries put their spin on them. And I would say for the saucy guys, I think they put a little bit of a hoppy note at the end. And it does differentiate this beer from some of the others. Um, and, I, you know, it kind of makes it stand out. Um, all in all, though, the Fest beer, German-style Oktoberfest from Saucy, you would get a big thumbs up. I would drink another one of these for sure. Um, I quite like it. Like I said, probably a little hoppier than I'm used to with the German styles or the German ones themselves. Uh, but that little hop note at the back is, is not really bad. It kind of just, you know, sets it apart from some of the others. Hey, hopefully you like the video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. Hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, please hit subscribe. And as always, you got any comments or questions, jump in down below. Have you had the Saucy Oktoberfest? If not, what's your favorite Oktoberfest? I'd love to hear which ones you have in your neck of the woods. Hey, stay safe, have a wonderful week, and cheers.